Hey, it's Jay, and I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. Oh my god. Like, every single episode, I just get more excited. Because, so, you know, I went to bed last night. I posted episode four. And when I woke up in the morning, the first episode now has over 400 views. Which, uh, to me, uh, like, uh, sure, that might not sound like a lot of views to a lot of people, right? But to me, that's... 400 different people who have decided hey you know what i i i want to watch this guy i want to i want to watch this video and i i i don't i have no words i i, I just can't I, I i can't i can't it's i can't i'm just so excited <laughs> anyways so also in between episodes um when i did get up earlier this morning um one of my subscribers invited me to a minecraft server Jay, what's that have to do with Outer Wilds? Why are you talking about this? Well, because in his Minecraft server, here, let me show you a few screenshots right now. He built the ship. No, sir, he built the ship. His name is Jorit BP. His link to his channel down in the description below. He built a replica base of the ship in Minecraft, which is so cool. It's just so cool. And uh, he showed me around and everything, and I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh man, I'm I'm loving I'm 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 just loving the community. I'm loving the community. I I didn't expect this many people to, to be looking at my channel. It's I I haven't even been posting videos for a week yet. I don't deserve all these people. So thank you, <laughs> thank you so much. Oh my god. Oh, we, all right. We just had a lot of stuff unlocked right there. Um, high energy lab, white hole state, high energy lab. White hole station, white hole station, observatory. We want to go to the observatory. Where are you, Brittle? Where are you, Mr. Brittle? Uh, oh, right there. Like clockwork. Th the moon looks really dark right there. Jeez. Look at that. It's kind of, uh, it's kind of ghostly how dark it looks. It was being, uh, what was that? A lunar eclipse? Because the, the planet was eclipsing the moon. All right. So, my goal this episode. Oh, shit. I, I need to slow down. Whoa. Whoa. All right. Um, jeez. We need to get to the observatory. So, how do we get there? Oh, what is this? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down, Jay. Calm down, Jay. It's all right. You could just take it easy with the f fancy flying. All right. Let's, uh, let's park our ship in an area where it won't fall down. This looks like a nice area. Suit on. Bam. Okay. What is this called? Southern Observatory. Oh, it's this way. It's this way. We'll check this out later. I want to get to the Southern Observatory. Alright. So, Southern Observatory. I'm going to guess it's that way. I don't like that. Oh, no. Stop. Is this really how the Nomai got around? Is this really... Oh, yeah, hey, guys. Let's just make a bunch of fucking floating platforms. Yeah. That, I mean, sure. They did invent teleport technology. Jump out. Right here. Jump out. Right. No. No. Let me out. Oh, God. Please. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Oh, no. No. Oh. Oh, my God. I hate it. Th that would have dropped me off. That would have dropped me off over the edge. It, oh, my. Okay. Southern Observatory. So, oh my god, parkour, hardcore parkour, 2008, here we go, I'm gonna take a wild gander and say that's where the observatory is, but I also need to, how did the Nomai get around? Did they have to parkour and risk their lives every time they wanted to go somewhere? Like, the way that, oh, the way they made it sound in the text is, oh, yeah, just take, just follow the path to the southern observatory, no biggie, no biggie, you don't have to do much. Um, where do we go? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, see, parkour. Like, the Nomai had to jump across this bridge, and they had to go. Oh, my God. Game, game, don't do this to me. I don't, I already don't like gravity. Oh! Oh! I almost fell. I almost just fell. <laughs> oh, don't. Oh my god, stop that. Alright, ledge, 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 right here. There's a ledge right here. Uh, can we even make it up to that platform? I guess we'll try. Uh, uh, 
Okay. N now over there. Now over there. Oh, oh, don't hit the rock. Okay. Dude, this place is falling apart around me right now. Okay, down here. Down here. Now where? Where do we go? Down here? Ah. Did I go the wrong way? Oh, there's a thing up there. There's a thing up there. Okay. Um, get back up on this ledge. Okay. Bam. We'll go up here. Uh, on this ledge. And then we'll go back to this one. If we didn't have a jetpack, this would be a lot more terrifying. More than it already is. Okay. And now we have to jump up onto that one. Uh. Okay. Almost there. Almost there. We just have to make it up to that. Jump. Okay. Now, if I miss this jump, let's just say it's a long fall. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Huh! Oh, no biggie. That wasn't that wasn't that bad. Okay. Oh, look. Oh, okay. All right, we're here. Southern Observatory. Let's unlock this door. Bam. Okay. Let's take a look at the different things we need to do here. So, Giant's Deep. So I'm gonna guess this leads to the portal. Yeah, okay, this is where we were before. Oh, okay. All right, nice. All right, Giant's Deep, done. What about this? Is the projection stone any different? Um, Conoy, Daz, and I are lifting the orbital probe cannon components in orbit, and one of them sank beneath the current. Okay, so we already read this. Let me scroll through it so the game doesn't say we missed anything. Uh, so this is basically saying that one of the probe cannon components sank beneath the current. They couldn't understand why, so they made a model at the Southern Observatory to be like, Hey, this is how it works. This is really cool that they made two... Oh god, it's louder than my voice. I'm sorry. Uh, let me turn the game sound down just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, that might help with uh, you hearing me. Conway, Casava's construction yard has been using cyclones on Giant's Deep to lift the orbital probe cannon parts into orbit. But one of the component, but one component was pushed down past the current that usually prevents anything from sinking. Spire and I are crafting a model to determine why this happened. An update: It's now clear there are two types of cyclone. Most cyclones on Giant's Deep rotate clockwise. These are the cyclones Casava typically use to send the components into orbit. Okay. There also exists a rarer type of cyclone that spins the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the waters. Oh! My gratitude, Spire. Kano is now showing me uh, your handiwork, and I'm intrigued. The second in your type of cyclone. Was it really necessary to build a model to tell me that? The model will be useful as we continue monitoring Giant's Deep. I also wanted to make a model. <laughs> okay, so... Alright, this one lifts me up. This one lifts me way up. As this one. Ah, uh, that one pushes down. Watch, watch, watch. Yeah, it pushes me down. I can't, I can't jetpack on this. Okay. Alright. That's cool. So now we know how to get below the current. And wait a sec. Yeah, now we know how to get below the current. Oh god, we're gonna go to Giant's Deep. We're gonna go to Giant's Deep. We, we know how to get below the current. What? is this um this is a weird observatory all right so this is ash twin and ember twin next to the sun orbiting the sun okay now what about this one Hey, Timber Hearth. No, wait. Yeah, Timber Hearth. Now that's that's orbiting. It's really hard to see though, cause the sun. But okay. Um. Brittle Hollow. Brittle Hollow. Look at that. It's it's kind of a discount version. Giants Deep. Where is it? Oh, it's over there. There it is. It's over there. Okay. Dark Bramble. Oh, there it is. There's the bramble. Okay. And exploding thing. Um. Whoa. 
Whoa, calm down. What is going on? What in the world? So this is something that's orbiting our solar system? Or something? Uh, let's, let's take a look at this wall. Maybe it'll explain it to us. What we have learned thus far in our search for the eye of the universe. So maybe that thing's called the eye? It kind of does look like an eye. Based on our knowledge of the quantum moon. Okay, quantum moon. We believe the eye is in orbit around the star system sun. This would mean the eye is located within a finite, albeit enormous, range. Suppose the eye doesn't wish to be found. Those of us on the vessel originally followed the eye signal to the star system, but we were unable to warp to the eye itself. The locator we built on Adelrock and the new, more sensitive locator we built here were both unable to detect any trace of the eye signal. Hypothesis. The eye has stopped emitting its signal. Kasava, how can you suggest that? The eye signal called out to summon us to the star system. Yes, I'm aware. I grew up hearing the eye story. We're not... But yet, we're no closer to finding it than we were the first time we arrived here. The eye. Perhaps it doesn't want to be found. Okay. Um. What about this? How should our methods change as we continue our search for the eye of the universe? We know what the eye looks like thanks to the quantum moon. So, if we truly... If we try to find the eye visu visually instead, let's send a probe... We need to build a probe launching mechanism to cover those long distances quickly. The cannon in orbit around the celestial body would circumvent the need to escape gravity's pull. Giant's Deep would be a good choice. It's the furthest from the sun, so it would provide the best angles for launch. And it's moonless, except when the quantum moon is visiting. Mallow's idea is clever, but we have no idea where the eye is in relation to here. The probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. I believe I have a solution for that problem. Have you spoken with Rami and Pi about the technology they're developing? As we couldn't find the eye signal using two different devices built for this purpose, we should discontinue this search method. Okay. Yes, let's build a cannon in orbit. Oh, okay, so they tried... The observatory is... So they're, they're, they're trying to look for the eye of the universe. That's why... Hello, Quantum Moon. Creepy bitch. Decide to orbit us right now. Go away. That's right. I have that kind of power. I can make you. I can make you disappear, Quantum Moon. Let me turn back up the game sound so you guys could enjoy. Sorry, it, it was the it was the tornadoes, tornadas that were. Um... Okay, let's uh let's get out of here. I think that's everything we needed to explore. Let's go back to our ship. If I could even get back to my ship, and oh, I'm here. I did it. I put the ship down safely. Um. And the ship went down. It didn't sustain bodily harm. A few minor repairs. It's like the ship will never hit those rocks. One of my better attempts. Feldstar will barely have laughed at me, I bet. That's good news. The bad news, uh, I haven't found a way inside the structure yet. The door is broken, and I know I'm not great at exploring, but I think I've found a different entrance by now if there were one. Probably. I can't get inside from here, but I know the paths are below the surface. I'm going to head north to the ruins on the equator to find a way down. So that's, uh, that's Rybeck. Rybeck left a recording. Oh, yeah, there's a ship. Yeah, we noticed that before. Okay. Um, now... Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Let's try to make our way back to our ship. The planet may be too far gone at this point. I don't see a path that we could go that... Oh, I do see a path. I do see a path. We just need to hurry. We just need to hurry. We need to take the long way around. We need... Oh, fuck. We need to take the very long way around. Okay. Uh, I need to walk, though. I, I, I either need to walk or I need to jetpack. You know what? I have a brilliant idea, or it might be a really stupid idea. Either way, I'm going to try it. Okay, so we won't fall in the black hole as long as I'm boosting sideways, because that's how orbital mechanics work, right? As long as I'm not... Because th th that's how orbits work. Yeah. Okay. So now. So now. All right. That's the tower of quantum knowledge. Okay. All right. Boost more. Boost more. Boost more. Boost more. Boost more in this direction of my ship. Boost up. Boost up. Guys, this isn't working. Oh god, we're gonna hit stuff. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. Boost more. Boost up. Yes. 
Yes. Boost up. We can get up there. We can get up there. We can get up there. We're so close. We're so close. We're so close. No. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. Where's the, where's the thing? Let's try to get over to Ryback before we run out of fuel. Ah! And then black hole. <laughs> we flattened ourselves like a pancake and then black hole. Whoa. Maybe, maybe. Okay, in hindsight, don't judge me. Don't judge me. But maybe in hindsight, throwing ourselves around the black hole like a giant parade show might not have been the smartest idea. Maybe it wasn't the smartest idea. That's all I'm saying is maybe. I'm not saying it was. Uh, I'm not saying it wasn't. I'm just saying maybe it wasn't, okay? It's it's up to you to decide if that was smart. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, but uh, the, the episode's 20 minutes long or, or something like that. You know what? We could, uh, we could keep going. We could keep going. I believe I could keep going here. Yeah. Okay. And anyways, it gets us our shift back. So we know... We now know how to Giants Deep. We now know how to do the deep part of Giants Deep. So let's go do that. Oh, I'm, I'm actually excited because uh, like I, I'm wondering like what's gonna be up with the crust and everything, you know? All right, onwards to adventure. <laughs> you can't hold me back. You can't hold me back, Timber Hurt. I'm a, I'm an independent, I'm an independent uh, spacefarer. We don't need no planet. That's right. <laughs> All right. Oh, don't crash into the station. No, we're not. We're, we're going faster. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> you know, just thinking about it, there is the off chance that, like, I crash into an island while I'm boosting that fast. Okay, so counterclockwise tornadoes, right? So all these are spinning clockwise. Oh, oh, you see it? There it is. There it is. That's the tornado spinning the other way. Okay. So, if we go in this tornado right here, it'll push us down. Right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, look. Look. You see? You see? That's like weird. That's this weird stuff. Here. Let's send our... Let's send the probe in. Pew. Whoa! Whoa, probe! Whoa! Alright. Alright. Um... How does one... Okay, I'm not gonna try that. I'm not gonna try that. That sounds... That sounds hostile. That doesn't sound... There has to be another way in. There has to be, like, an opening somewhere, um, that, that you're able to get in through. Like, there has to be an opening somewhere. Hi, jellyfish. How are you? They're a lot more scary when they're alive. What is it? Oh! 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 I know! I know! I know now! I know now! Where's another one? We need to find another one. Where is another one? Oh! 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 I! I! Guys! I! I get it! I get it! I get it! I get it! Oh! Here's this one! Here's this one! Okay. All right. Observe. Oh! I'm gonna hate this! I'm gonna hate this real good. Okay. Uh. Okay. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Stay away from the electrical bits. Oh, 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 I'm going right up its asshole. Oh, God, it stinks. Jellyfish, where have you been? Oh, oh, where have you been, jellyfish? Don't. Don't do that. Oh. oh. Yeah. Oh, hey, look at that. It's like, a, it's like a sauna in here or something like that. So, uh. Oh god, I did go up its asshole. It's pulsating. Oh, it's pulsating. Don't do that. <laughs> oh, oh, stop. And it's sucking in it's sucking in water and and it's like protruding. Oh, that's just that's nasty. That's just nasty. <laughs> How long uh, now we just have to wait. Now we just have to vibe inside of a jellyfish until we could uh you know, until we could get this get this bread. Yeah, you could hear it. We're getting closer. Oh, God. Oh, God. Please. Please. Just let me sit on the side of you, okay? Just let me sit on the side of you. Here it comes. Here it comes. We're almost through. 
Oh, oh, please. Oh, the asshole is pulsating a different color. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. All right. Are we in? Are we in? Are we in? Oh, God, we're in. Oh, this is creepy. What? I can't see anything. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Onwards and out. Or so they say. Here, how about how about probe? Ah, yes, the probe will light the way. Okay, probe. Let's send the probe out to explore a little bit. Ah, 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 guys, look at that. There it is. There it is. There's the piece. There's the piece. We found it. Okay. All right, let's go up. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, it's probably going to be waterlogged. There's there's going to be so much water in here. Uh, I hope I have enough oxygen to, to be able to do whatever's inside of here. Here we go. Whoa. Oh, okay. Um, I guess apparently it's airtight. Okay, that's cool. So. This is the, this is the place though, right? This is the place that, um... Whoa, whoa, what? Oh, oh, those are like flippy. They flip you. Okay. Uh, let's take a look. Launch module, projection stone. Uh, we've already seen the launch module. Maybe it'll say something else, though, if we look in here. Imagine, privet. The probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye of the universe. We're in the probe tracking. Wait. I'm honored and terrified. You won't ask the orbital probe cannon to use them. Yeah, we've already seen that. Um, what about this? What about this? Ash twin. Um, I also believe that we have uh, done the ash twin, but just in case, I, just in case, just in case. Okay, I have exciting news. The ash twin project is almost prepared to receive the probe cannon, orbital probe cannon data. Rami is adding some finishing touches here, but she'll be finished soon. Are you and the orbital probe cannon ready as well? We are. The probe tracking module is ready to record each launch's flight trajectory. It will automatically transmit all relevant data to you. On the other appendage, I am worried about how the cannon structure will tend degree with moral integrity. Once the probe determines the location, we'll send an alert directly to you, Rami. Or Rami, whatever. Whatever. Okay. Um, I'm trying to wrap my head up around exactly what they're trying to do still. We'll, we'll figure it out, though. Okay. Um... Let's put the ball, put the ball, in a day hole. I could assume that's Giant's Deep. Okay. And Giant's Deep. Whoa. Whoa. All right. It shoots out a probe. Okay. And the probe goes out on a trajectory. Okay. Receiving data from probe 9000 or 361 or 9361. Uh, visualizing current trajectory of probe 9361. Okay. Up, uh, up, uh, whoop, whoop. Okay. And we go and put that in the hole. Okay. Giant steep again. We have the we have the cannon. The cannon shoots out one. Um. Whoa! I feel like I'm about to get stabbed. Oh my god. Wh that's a crazy looking sea urchin. <gasps> that's what... Wait a second. Wait a second. Hold on. Hold on. Bear with me here. Um, Retrieving previous launch data from Ash Twin. Total number of probes launched. 9,361. Deep space anomaly matching all known criteria for the eye of the universe is found at probe 9354. 9361, 9354. 9361, 9354. Okay. Alright. Put the ball in the hole! Um, what am I looking at here? Uh, retrieving stored coordinates from the Ash Twin. Displaying coordinates for the eye of the universe. 
that's the coordinates to the eye of the universe. So, uh, are, uh those don't look like, uh, latitude and longitude to me. What is, are, are, do you guys, I'm getting fucking creeped out because, oh, uh, oh, do you see it? Do you see it? I, I don't know about you guys, but I keep seeing white balls float around on the outside. Do you, Oh, oh, there, there was one. There was one. You see it? Oh my god, I swear. They're, they're, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. I'm not paranoid here. You guys see them, right? I'm not just... I'm just not losing my shit. Oh, there, there's one up there. I swear... It, editing me right now, I want you to... Uh, editing me. If you're watching this, I want you to freeze frame on one of these fucking white balls that I keep seeing out of the corner of my eye. It's extremely creepy and I don't... Look! Oh my god. Stop that. Stop that, game. Why? Why is it doing that? Hold on, if I sit still? Oh, you know what? Oh. <laughs> I'm stupid. What if those are just bubbles? I think those are just bubbles. Okay, never mind. Don't do that editing me. Don't do that. <laughs> You'll look stupid if you do that. <laughs> Alright, is there anything else we need to see? I, I, we, all of that, just to find coordinates? I mean... Okay, like what 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 good does having coordinates do if we don't know how to get to them? Or if we if we can't understand what the coordinates mean or anything like that, right? Right? At least I should right? Okay. Boop. Oh, get ready to be flooded. Oh water. Water. Okay. So now You know what? If I, if I boost through, and I get electrocuted, I get electrocuted. If I boost through... Oh god, watch out for the for the plants, or whatever this stuff is. Oh, uh, scary. Scary, scary, scary. Scary. Ah. Uh, am I dead? I'm not dead. Okay, just reset my stuff a little bit. Oh, the ship went all the way up to the current. It went all the way past. It's on the surface right now. This is not okay. This game really gives you not good feelings sometimes. And when I mean sometimes, I mean it happens every episode. I always have a gut feeling that makes me feel terrible inside. And it's because the game is doing some some spooky bullshit, like going through current. Or... Alright, so, that should be... Uh, okay, we're good. Hey, can we, uh, use medkit, refill jetpack? There we go. Okay. Oh! I was just about to say, we have explored all of Giant's Deep. I stand corrected. I stand very corrected. Alright. Boop. Boop. Hey, uh... So, why is there a jellyfish in ice? Why is there a baby jellyfish in ice? Because... Oh. Thank you for the banjo music, Rybeck. I love you. Ghost matter. Oh, ghost matter. Shoot. Um... Retrieve the probe. Photo mode. Okay. Alright, so... That way clear. That way ghost matter. We're going this way. Jetpack and away. This is gonna be a longer episode. Uh, whatever. I know you guys enjoy longer episodes, and I like playing this game as much as possible, so I guess we both win. The only person who doesn't win is my computer, because my computer has to render for, like, two hours straight, and it, it's okay. <laughs> Alright. Oh god, there's a field of it. There's a whole field of it. Okay. I can't go through the middle. I can't go through the side. But, over here looks okay. Stay away. Stay away from that part. Alright, hug the edge. Hug the edge. Oh wow, that's so cool. Look at these jellyfish. It's so cool so cool oh I love this oh I can light a campfire oh yes roast the marshmallow mmm it's raining but hey you know what that's probably why the fire is out that, that kind of makes sense actually uh don't 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 you dare think about it don't you dare think about it don't you dare think oh guys okay hold on to something hold on to something jetpack refueled I'm ready I'm prepared I'm prepared for you here we go! Here we go! This... I just got thrown off the island. Get onto the island. Don't touch the ghost matter, though. Don't touch the ghost matter. 
Stay still. Stay still. Stay still. Oh my god, stay still. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Alright, we're back on. Ugh. Oh. Five minutes. Five minutes without doing some shit. Stay away from me, you spinny motherfuckers. Thank you. Oh my god. Play recording. <laughs> Trip four. Entry whatever. Crashes two. Boring crashes zero. Remember to see Slate when I get back. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. All the way down to the core. Consider yourself conquered, Giant Steve. You just got felt sparred. That was one of my most dramatic feats, if I do say so myself. I can't believe I wasn't electrocuted. Huh. I can't wait to tell Hornfels and Ghost Hunt about this one. I guess brute force isn't always the answer. Alright. So, that's one of... That's one more off my list. It seems all that's left is the big one now. Dark Bramble. Here I come. Oh. Okay, so this... He went, he went to this place before Bramble. Alright, well... What information did this give us? absolutely nothing but that's all right is our ship still on this island oh hey ship oh ship oh you made you made the hassle of 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 coming all the way over here off of your original landing platform oh that's nice thank you ship i appreciate it <laughs> okay all right let's get out of here uh-oh 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 now i oh oh no Come on, break free, break free. Rah, rah, rah. Come on, yes, yes. Freedom, freedom. Freedom, oh no. Uh, starboard, fuel tank damaged. Oh, jeez. Okay, fine, let's land. Let's just land. Let's land on this island, though, because this island's a lot less spoopy and doesn't have ghost matter. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, uh, you know what, actually... We're gonna have to go into space. I can't get up on my ship in, in a planet like this. Okay. Let's just boost off into space. It's okay if we do. Alright, there we go. We should be fine. Alright, are you guys ready to do our first, uh, our first, uh, spacewalk right now? Because I'm not. Ah! Uh, okay, alright. Now we just need to find what got damaged, so... Uh, up here seems to look like it got damaged. Oh, there's fuel. There's fuel leaking out. There's fuel. We're losing fuel. That can't that can't happen. Rep repair it. Repair it. Stop that. Stop that. Stop squirting all over the place. You you hoe bag. Oh my god, stop. It's getting all over me. Oh, oh, it's stop. Stop. You're squirting fuel on me, ship. Don't do that. Okay. What else needs to be repaired right now? Oh, this is scary. This is really scary being outside the ship. Get into the ship now. Anything else? Um, starboard hole. Starboard hole damaged. Okay, so it's the hole on this side. Right here. Right here. Boom! That's right. I'm a pro mechanic. I just did that in space. Okay. Now, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? Shoot. What do we want to do? I, I, I just beat Giant Steve. I, I, uh,. Well, I guess beat is a weird word for it. Let's go to Brittle Hollow now. Go back to Brittle Hollow. Let's check out, um, I believe, uh, Rybeck mentioned a hanging city. Um, that, that's probably fun, right? Oh, the planets look so cool from the distance right here. I'm just so far away from everything, it's great. Are you guys noticing how all the other stars, like, are in the, in, like, everywhere is, hold on, uh, can I zoom in still? No, I can't. But, like, you see all the... You see all the... Look, there's one right there. And there's another right there. And, you know what? Actually, actually, I changed my mind. I changed my mind. Um, I want to go to... Uh, I want to go to the twins. I feel like going to the twins would be fun. Oh, we just barely avoided that catastrophe. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's alright, though. It's alright. I want to go to the twins. Uh, particularly, let's... Uh, yeah, drum boy. Drum boy. I believe, uh, what was the last one's name? Um, there was one more astronaut that we haven't talked to yet. That I keep hearing about in logs. Was his name Chirp? Chirp? Something like that? Okay. Ember Twin, here we come. Ember Twin, here we come! Not Sun! Not Sun! Oh my god, stop. Game. 
Oh. Yeah, there is the sun. And these two planets are orbiting in such a weird way. Okay. Let's take a look. We go down. Alright, here it is. Okay. We've landed. Alright. Oh, jeez. It gave me a heart attack. Speaking of heart attacks, the sun is really big right now. It's a really big sun. Okay. So. Chirp, not chirp. Got it. The stars, they're all dying. Uh, they've been... There, there have been too many supernova for it to be anything else. We're next. Do you understand? Our sun, by Hearth's name, we're next. Well, are you okay? Uh, what do you mean we're next? It's the stars, you see. All the other stars are dying out. Oh, why did I have to be born at the end of the universe? And if our sun, it... The star charts, why? Why did I want to update them so badly? I didn't have to know, but oh no no, I had to update the star charts. I had to go looking for things. I shouldn't have, and now our sun is about to... Oh no. Oh, I don't feel well. Let me be alone, please. Chert, what do you mean? Our sun... Chert, what do you mean? Our sun doesn't look like it's about to explode. What are you, what are you talking about, Chert? <laughs> oh, Chert, Chert is some woke son of a bitch. He, he knows. Hey, I found something, Chert. Why, isn't that great? Do you know what? I found something myself. Most of them have to do with the sun exploding. <laughs> Oh, who cares? Why does it matter? Nothing matters anymore. The sun's about to go supernova. And all my research, my life was work, ra wasted. Wasted, you understand? Oh my god. Chert, you're a basket case. You're an absolute basket case, Chert. Why are the stars dying? I don't know. They're old, far older than we realized. Now all of them are dying. Why does it matter? It doesn't. It doesn't matter at all. Nothing matters anymore. Or all my research, wasted. Sure, I'm gonna read through every dialogue option you have. Oh my god, sure. Um, <laughs> what are you, uh, what, <laughs> what should I explore here, Chert? Where should you go? Where can anyone go? Can't you see it's too late now? Oh, who cares? Why does it matter? All my life's research, work, wasted. Yeah, wasted, you understand, wasted. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this, oh, I love it. Oh my god. <laughs> Though, out of the one person who's not stuck in a time loop, Chert's a fucking woke man. Like, he understands. <laughs> hey, hi. Uh, hey, how dangerous is that big column of falling sand? Not as dangerous as what's about to happen to our entire solar system. I don't feel well. I'd like to be alone, please. I can't believe this. I'm gonna keep bothering you. Oh. Oh my god, that's so funny. Wait a second. How lucky to be born at the end of the universe. It's so big now. It's so big. Oh my god. It's so big. Chert. Chert. Why are you playing your drum? Oh. He's just... He's just playing his drum because he knows nothing else could, could stop. That's Giants... Whoa. Giants Deep and Bramble look creepy together. They're like two behemoths just sitting there, you know? Wow. So, uh, I guess this epi- The Interloper. What? Well, uh, why am I seeing the Interloper interlope? Does that make sense? What's going on here? Um. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll ignore that. Oh, uh, sure. Sure, we're about to we're about to get um some good uh heating. Yeah, we're about to get some heating. A fire next to the sun. Is that really necessary, Chert? Is that really necessary? All right. You know what? We haven't done it, so let's just roast a marshmallow. Oh man. Ah. Good old marshmallow. Hey, Chert, how's the weather? Don't you like don't you like the the state of the universe, Chert? Oh, Chert, you Wait, my marshmallow, it's burning! Well, why did- <laughs> I- Did that- Did the marshmallow start burning because of the supernova? 
or maybe I did burn my marshmallow in the fire. I don't know, but if it burned, if it started to set on fire because the supernova was getting close, that's... It's just the small attentions to detail of why I love this game so much. Oh my god. Oh. Uh, I love it. I love it so much. Alright, guys. It looks like uh, we're going to have to end this one off for today. Um, I look forward to the next episode when we wake up underneath the stars and we go adventuring in our ship once again. As always, this has been Jay, and I hope you guys have an absolutely beautiful day. Bye, guys.